Good morning, viewers. Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Sayas. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, we are going to continue with photosynthesis. Measuring rate of photosynthesis. The apparatus is as shown. The apparatus is filled with carbonated water to enrich it with carbon dioxide. The setup is allowed to adjust writing test for two to three minutes. C, writing test is valid by changing the distance between the light source and the apparatus, such as 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 centimeter. The bigger the distance, the lower the light intensity. D, the rate of photosynthesis is measured by the number of bubbles per minute. E, temperature is buffered by B capacity of the beaker. We have to keep temperature constant because temperature is also a factor which affects the rate of photosynthesis. So if we plot a graph of rate against distance B graph looks like that because as the distance increases the light intensity decreases. Chloroplast. This is the major organelles for photosynthesis. It is bound by a double membrane, outer membrane, and inner membrane. Inner membrane encloses a matrix called a stroma. Within the stroma, the membrane, rather like a pile of coin, called grana, and between the grana, you have the grana membrane. Also within the stroma, we have ribosome and DNA. Adaptation is to its function. It has a large surface area to allow diffusion of gases. Two, it is thin to allow penetration of light. Three, it contains the chlorophyll to trap light. Four, it has abundant photosynthetic enzymes in the stroma. Five, it has extensive membrane, the grana and the intergrana, for attachment of enzymes. Seven, it has its own DNA to allow fast multiplication and also synthesis of proteins. And seven, it contains ribosome for synthesis of proteins. Differences between photosynthesis and respiration. Respiration occurs in the mitochondria. Photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplast. Respiration breaks down carbohydrates. Photosynthesis synthesizes carbohydrates. Respiration uses oxygen. Photosynthesis uses carbon dioxide. Respiration liberates carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis liberates oxygen. Respiration occurs in plants and animals. Photosynthesis occurs in plants and algae. Chemistry of photosynthesis, carbon dioxide, reacts with water, empowered by energy, trapped by chlorophyll to produce carbohydrates and oxygen. This is the symbol for carbon dioxide, those who know chemistry, this is the symbol for water. So carbon dioxide plus water, you get carbon hydrate plus oxygen. Photosynthesis takes place in three stages. One, light harvesting stage, Two, electron transport, and three, reduction of carbon dioxide. We are going to look at each of these stages one by one. 
one, light harvesting. Pigment molecules in the cellular code membrane absorb and collect solar energy into special molecules of chlorophyll A called reaction centers. When light strikes these reaction centers, an electron is excited and picked by electron acceptor. There are two kinds of chlorophyll A reaction centers called photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. Photosystem 1 absorbs light at 700 nanometers while Photosystem 2 absorbs light at 690 nanometers. Stage 2, electron transport. This stage occurs in a cytokoid of chloroplast and produces ATP and reduced nicotamide adenine phosphate or NADPH which is used in the third stage. The events of electron transports are shown below. Formation of NADPH when light strikes chlorophyll molecule, PS1, an electron is displaced and taken up by an electron acceptor. The electron acceptor then donates it to pyridoxine through electron transport chain proteins. Prodexin then donates it to NADP to form NADPH. Electron lost by PS1 is restored from PS2. When PS2 is struck by light, an electron is displaced and picked by electron acceptor which donates it to PS1 through electron transport chain proteins. An electron lost by PS2 is restored through photolytic splinting of water which is a hero's reaction. So under light water splits to form hydrogen ions and electron is then the electron is donated to PS2. Formation of ATP. ATP is formed by two processes. A. Non-cyclic photophosphorylation. The flow of electron from PS2 to PS1 in the cytokoid causes accumulation of hydrogen ions inside the cytokoid space, creating a gradient. The passage of hydrogen ions out of the cytokoid provides energy for synthesis of ATP. B. Cyclic photophosphorylation. Here, when light strikes chlorophyll molecule, PS1, an electron is displaced and taken up by electron accept. Then it is donated back to PS1 through electron transport chain proteins. In the process, hydrogen ion accumulates in the cytokoid space and the passage of hydrogen ions out of the cytokoid provide energy for synthesis of ATP. Differences between cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Cyclic involves PS1 only. Non-cyclic involves PS1 and PS2. Cyclic produces ATP. Non-cyclic produces ATP and NADPH. In cyclic photophosphorylation, photolysis of water does not occur. In a non-cyclic photophosphorylation, photolysis of water occurs. In a cyclic photophosphorylation, electron motion is cyclic 
In a non cyclic photophosphorylation, electron motion is non cyclic. Stage 3 reduction of carbon dioxide. This involves a cyclic chain reaction called the caravine cycle. It occurs in the stroma of the chloroplast. NADP and ATP from stage 2 provide reducing power and energy for synthesis of the sugar. Ribulose by phosphate, which is a 5 carbon compound, reacts with the carbon dioxide and water to form unstable compound which breaks into two free carbon compound molecules, glycerate free phosphate. Glycerate free phosphate is reduced by NADPH, obtaining energy from ATP to form glyceraldehyde free phosphate. Part of glyceraldehyde free phosphate is used to synthesize the glucose and then glucose is converted to starch. Part of glyceraldehyde, three phosphate, is used to regenerate ribulose by phosphate. Ribulose by phosphate is a five carbonic compound. Glyceraldehyde, three phosphate, is a, a three carbonic compound. So after ribulose by phosphate, reacts with the carbon dioxide. It means you form two molecules of gas at free phosphate. Gas around free phosphate is also a free carbon compound. C3 and C4 plants. In the C3 plants, such as tomato and rice, carbon dioxide is fixed by ribulose by phosphate. And the first stable intermediate is a free carbon compound. Glycerate phosphate. In the C4 plants like maize and sugarcane, carbon dioxide is fixed by phosphenol, pyruvic acid, PEP, and the first stable intermediate is the four carbon compound called oxalo acetic acid. The oxalic acid, acid formed in the C4 plant is converted to malic acid from which carbon dioxide is fed into Calvin cycle to form carbohydrates. Advantages of C4 plants over C3 plants. One, in the C4 plants, paper carboxylase has got very high affinity for carbon dioxide that photosynthesis can occur at very low carbon dioxide concentration. Two, the concentric arrangement of mesophyll cells increase efficiency of light absorption. Three, in the C4 plants, photorespiration does not occur because PEP carboxylase does not accept carbon dioxide and ribulose by phosphate is shielded from oxygen by the band of sieve cells. Then four, carbon dioxide fixing enzymes are more active at high temperature and illumination, enabling photosynthesis to occur at low altitude in hot tropical condition. Five, the parasit cells have large grana to increase photosynthesizing surface area. These are advantages of C4 plants over C3 plants. Carbon dioxide fixing enzymes in C4 plants are less active in the cool, moist, and low elimination conditions. Thus, photosynthesis is low at high altitude with low temperature and light intensity. Come plants, for example pineapple, these are C4 plants in the RD environment. They open their stomach at night 
to fix carbon dioxide and then cause them during the day to conserve water. As opposed to C4 plants, carbon dioxide fixation and the conversion caravan cycle are separated by time. For the respiration, this is the uptake of oxygen by labulose, by phosphate leading to loss of carbon dioxide, water and energy. At high oxygen concentration and temperature, oxygen competes with carbon dioxide for labulose by phosphate. This reduces the rate of photosynthesis. Differences between the C4 and C3 plants. C3 photosynthesis occurs in the mesophyll cell in the C4 pathway. Photosynthesis occurs in the mesophyll and the band of C cells. Number two, in the C3 pathway, carbon dioxide acceptor is ribulase by phosphate. In the C4 pathway, carbon dioxide acceptor is phosphenol pyruvic acid. In the C3 pathway, the first stable intermediate is the gas at free phosphate. In the C4 plant, the first stable intermediate is oxaloacetic acid, a C4 compound. Four, in the C3 pathway, Photorespiration is high. In the C4 pathway, photorespiration is minimized. Number five, low photosynthetic rate. In the C3 pathway, in the C4 pathway, there's a high photosynthetic rate. C3 pathway, the optimum temperature is 20 to 25, while in the C4 plant pathway, the optimum temperature is 30 to 45. Degree Celsius.